We go live now to Mexico City where President-elect Claudia Sheinbaum is being sworn in. We are going at this moment to the Zócalo Square in Mexico City. Zócalo Square. Yeah, we are at this moment seeing live images of the Zócalo Square where President-elect Claudia Sheinbaum is said to receive the ceremony right after she was sworn in earlier today as president of the northern country. Yes. Let's recall that Claudia Sheinbaum is a Mexican politician. She's a scientist and also is Mexico's first female president in more than 200 years of independence, promising to protect, expand social safety nets, and also fight for the poor, like her predecessor, but also facing all the challenges ahead. Let's recall that from 2006, Sheinbaum served as Secretary of the Environment under future president. Andrés Manuel López Obrador. There are many supporters of the president who are at this moment gathering at the Zócalo Square. 70 originary people are gathering to perform the ceremony, the holy ceremony, that is taking place at this hour. She's speaking at the people at the people at this moment, so let's listen to her statements. And the universe is becoming female. We will hear the words of the first president female of the Mexico, Claudia Chamba. Friends, today begins the second stage of the fourth trans transformation of the public life in Mexico. We know that there is the first transformation, independence. The second one, reform. Third one, Mexican Revolution. And the fourth one that was started by the best president of Mexico, Andrés Manuel López Obrador. As we say here in El Zócalo, there at home, Mr. Andres Manuel, you are always in the heart of the peoples of Mexico. And what does mean? the second stage of the fourth transformation. It means keeping our principles, our objectives, those who gave origin to our movement. We will begin with the principles of the fourth transformation for the well-being of all. It won't be possible to exist a rich government, everything for the people, without it nothing. Also, as you know, we're going to keep all of the programs of the president. 
today we also and I say president because he's the best president that our country has ever had today also the second stage means as I mentioned in the Congress one step closer for the first time not only in 200 years but at least 503 years we haven't had a female president in Mexico and as we always say we didn't arrive alone but all of the women in Mexico I ask for your patience as Manuel Lo Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador did I wanna do with you the 100 points of commitment of the next six years of the second stage of the fourth transformation one we will root with the division between economic power and political power we will never be subjected to economic political economic interests or foreign interests we will always work for the supreme interests of the people and the nation too. We will rule by the precepts of Mexican humanism, the nourishes of two values, the essence of the native people, peoples and the second history of Mexico. Three, we will be a sensitive government close to the people of the territory, not of a desk. We will, I will continue to visit all of the states of the Republic on the weekends, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. From tomorrow on, the mañaneras of the people start again. In this occasion, we will start at 7.30 a.m. We will give you half an hour. Four, we will grant you all of the freedoms, freedom of speech, of press, of gathering and mobilization. Freedom is a, a democratic principle. Human rights will be respected and never, we will never use the force of states to repress the people of Mexico. Five, we will respect and grant religious, political, social, cultural diversity and also sexual diversity of our society. We will fight any kind of discrimination. We won't tolerate racism, classism, and chauvinism. Six, the foreign policy, we will follow the constitutional principles of self-determination of the people, non-intervention, and peaceful solution of controversy. It's always our duty to defend the greatness of Mexico and promote respectful relations, never uh, relations of subordination. We are a free country, democratic country, and sovereign and independent. We are a great country with a marvelous people, honest and worker Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador gave back dignity to our people and no no one will take it away from it ever seven our peoples are 
heroes of the homeland. They not only help the economy of our country, but they are essential for the economy of the United States. We will always be thankful for their work, for the support they give to their families each month. That's why we will always defend them. I gave to the Secretary of Foreign Affairs the task to take care of the consulates, uh, take care of the people of, uh, abroad with dignity. Eight. The judicial reform was already approved. In a few days, the Senate of the Republic will issue the call for elections on June 2025. As I said in the Congress, what we want is more independence and self-determination of the judicial power put an end to corruption. Also, the executive is elected democratically. The legislative is elected democratically. Now it's the time for judicial power to be elected democratically. Everything for the people, nothing without it. Nine, we will continue to work with the families to achieve truth and justice until we find all of the missing youngsters of Ayotzinapa. 10. At its time, we will boost the constitutional reform and the electoral system to strengthen participatory democracy the revocation of mandate, decision of the people through people's consultation, and the reduction of the cost of elections for the people. In 2027, I will be subjected to mandate revocation as the Constitution establishes. 11. What do you think about this? We will send an initiative of constitutional reform to recover the, prince, the democratic principle of non re, no re-election. So from 2030, any position of popular election can be re-elected. I have another one. Non municipality presidents, senators, or deputies, we will forbid boost the prohibition of succeeding direct families and this um, positions. Um, let's say no to nepotism. Twelve. We will achieve an honest government without influences, corruption, or impunity. It has a woman that will become secretary of anti-corruption and good rule. Those who know us will know that we're, we won't tolerate any kind of corruption. The regime of corruption and privileges won't come back. Our guide will be always honesty. 13. The neoliberal model won't come back. 
since it hurt so much Mexico. The mo moral economy and hum humanism will remain in Mexico. 14. I won't return the presidential plane, also the major state, and I won't live in Los Pinos. We're going to live here in National Palace. We will keep republic, republican austerity, financial discipline. We will keep a government without luxury and privileges. The constitutional reform is about to be approved. We put in charge there to deputies and senators so that nobody earns anything, earns more than the president of the republic. We will respect autonomy of the Bank of Mexico and we will keep a reasonable balance between um, debt and GDP. We will continue to finance development with the policy of Mexican austerity. 16. We will support popular economy. It won't rise as President. López Obrador did in the last six years, oil or electricity or gas over inflation. Basic supplies won't rise neither. 17. We will facilitate access to tax pavement services and procedures. We will create a program of reduction and digitalization uh, formalities, the greatest in our history. Let's put papers in the digital world and avoid lines. Fraternal Republic, 18. We are paying historical debts that we had with the peoples and communities, indigenous and Afro-Mexican communities. He was uh, approved the plain rights of indigenous and Afro-Mexican peoples. It's our duty to make a reality out of this. Plans of justice for all the peoples will continue. As well, we will promote cultural rights and native languages. Here we have indigenous women who always carried the mother tongue. 19. We will grant all of the well being programs of President Lopez Obrador. Also, will be approved and a Congress so that they be part of the Constitution. Let's mention them. Universal pension for elders, also pension for uh, people with handicaps, internship for students with uh, scarcity of resources, production, fishery, fertilizers for free, prices of grantee, the school is ours, and the hospital is ours also. Well, we will keep all this. 20. All women from 60 to 64 years will obtain uh, financial support every two months. Be aware, because this month The registration begins in public. Places. We will start with women of 63, 64 years old. 21. As I committed, 
all of the students of elementary school and high school will have inter uh, scholarships if they are attending public schools. Also, in this month, registration starts in all public high school. In 2025, we'll begin with the high school students, 22. This October, we also will start with a program of health care uh, at the houses of elders. For this, we will visit uh, every home of this elder, and they will be uh, asked questions to know their health situation. And in January, we will hire more than 20,000 nurses and medical staff so to make a reality out of the health care attention to all of the elders. 23. We will strength, strengthen the Bank of Wellbeing, which is the Bank of the People of Mexico. Also, financial for well-being, facilitating remittance, and this is a new program for indigenous women. We will provide support to all of the craft indigenous women, and we'll have a trade scheme with fair prices, with fabric, pottery, and all of the marvelous things that they manufacture. 25, we will support the initiative to establish in our constitution mistreatment to animals, animal abuse. A humanist, scientific republic, republic who will continue with the educational model of the new Mexican school and free textbooks. 27. The national teaching will, will continue to be renowned for the job, and we will put an end to the UCCAM. And we will work together. We will work together in a new system for hiring, promotion, and permanence to guarantee the rights of workers and the right for education. 28. The program School is Ours will continue and we will take it to higher education. 29. The schedule of primary schools will extend gradually to teach uh, physical education and arts. 30. We will transform public schools and also spaces of prevention, diseases, mental health. Oral health and the program View Your Dreams that provides free support for all of the children with uh, visual handicaps. 31. We will strengthen public high schools. The purpose of this is that all the students that finish high school have a place to continue with their scholarity and don't drop school. All of the students of preparatory, uh, 
high school have scholarships, but we will build more high schools in the country. It's what is better to have the uh, adolescents at the streets or in school? Well, in school, obviously, that's what we want. All of our youngsters in school, and we will extend higher education. We will consolidate university Benito Juarez and nationalize the universities we built in the city, Rosario Castellanos and University of La Salud. We will take it to the whole country. The objective of this is augment in at least 300,000 spaces in universities also. In the metropolitan area of Mexico, the test of Camipens will disappear. It's better if they go to the school that is closest to their home. 33. We will make out of Mexico a power of science and innovation. Therefore, we will support basic science, natural science, and humanities. 34. Mexicans, we have creativity, capacity, and effort enough. We will launch the Technological Development, Development Program for Innovation. I'll give you some examples. We will produce a line, a line which means moving in water, a little car 100% electric, designed 100% by Mexican youngsters and um, built in our country. We will consolidate the space, the Mexican space program. And we will put into orbit our own satellite to extend communications. We will uh, integrate the chain of semiconductors and develop them in our country. We will launch the production of lithium with our own technological development. We will create a factory of public sub software and um, center of cybersecurity and artificial intelligence. The technological solutions of the whole government will be made at home by professional young, uh, young Mexican people. We will produce drones with a low cost and a high efficiency telecommunication equipment, equipment for diagnosis and follow-up of diseases, and technologies to save water and energy, technologies made in Mexico for Mexicans, for Mexican people. 35. Let's catch up and put an end to sedentary sedentary we will support um, sportsmen and women of high quality 36 are you tired we're going well 36 we will create the most ambitious system of education and our arts creation formal and in the communities to consolidate schools of involved and promote artistic education in schools. For each school,
We are listening at this moment to President-elect Claudia Sheinbaum at the Zocalo Square in Mexico City, few hours after her swearing in as the first female president in 200 years of independence in the country, leading her address to the people, many of whom gathered at the historical square to celebrate her and her achievements. She assured she will govern through principles and for the well-being of all. As we were mentioning, we are seeing the President Claudia Sheinbaum, who is offering the f first address to the people, having the people in front of her, thousands of whom are gathering to celebrate her as the first female president of the country. Mexican politician, scientist and academic, who is at this moment serving as the 66th president of Mexico since October 2024. She is a member of the left-wing National Regeneration Movement, Morena Party, and takes the oath of office on October 1st today as Mexico's first female president in more than 200 years of independence. Also, she's promising to protect and expand social safety net and fight for the poor like her predecessor, Andres Manuel López Obrador. As we were mentioning on Tuesday today, Claudia Sheinbaum went down in Mexican history as the first woman president in 200 years of independence. Before presidents and other high-ranking officials from more than 100 countries and 22 international, 22 international political actors, she sworn to keep the path for, uh, drawn by President Andrés Manuel López Obrador who she is willing to keep building the foundations built by former President Andrés Manuel López Obrador. She assured that the path will not be easy. There is much to be done amid the recent wave of violence and, and also let's listen to her statements once again. We will also generate a system so that we have laboratory samples in the majority of health centers. This will help uh, to diagnose diseases a lot. 43, we will boost a program of health care for the first thousand years of life. We will support uh, pregnant women so that they go to their consultations. We will provide vitamin supplements to them and will promote um, breastfeeding. 44, this is the one I was talking about, the samples for the laboratories for the teacher, we're going to start this program in Mexico States. 45. We will continue with the program of modernization of infrastructure and equipment in hospitals and health unities. We will start in 2025 a big program of surgeries. We have two surgeries that will allow us to help in a very important way. The one for the eyes and for the knees will be massive surgeries in the whole country. 46, in school, jobs, public spaces, we will have an extended program uh, to reduce hypertension, diabetes. It's enough to no more trash food. 47, President Andres Manuel López Obrador left us a great task, which was developed by military engineers. The next month, months, we will inaugurate 16 units of well -being, limbs well-being, seven limbs unities, and four unities of LISTE.
Republic with access to housing, 48. We will build at least a million houses in this years. A part of them with Infonavia and Infovista, and another one very important for those that don't have social security, we will have a program of housing and young people will be able to rent houses and become owners of them after a while. We will provide 450,000 credits for improving houses. 49, we will carry out, carry out massive program of writing um, houses. We will start in the states of Tijuana and Mexico. 50, this is also for teacher Delfina. We were demanded about it in Mexico state. In the state of Mexico, we will carry out a, an unprecedented project. I will tell you why. In the eastern zone of Mexico, talking about Texcoco, Los Chimalhuacan, Los Reyes La Paz, and my city in Isahualcoyo, there more than 100, 10 million people live And historically, they don't have access to water supply, housing, so we're going to visit them. What we're going to ask you is to unite all municipality presidents, the government of the states, and the federal government to provide justice to the eastern state of Mexico. Republic for women, 51. We will create the first Secretariat of Women. After tomorrow, we will send to the Congress the union certain reforms, some of them constitutional, so that in the fourth article of the Constitution, Equality of women and men is clear, and also the right to a life free of violence. These reforms also include mechanisms to avoid uh, wage gaps between men and women, equal payment for equal job, no more labor discrimination, same cabinets in municipalities and states. Lay Olympia and lay and law against uh, violence. And thanks to this law, aggressors will leave the house, not the, the women abused. Mandatory, it will be mandatory to have women in all of the public ministries. And approval of uh, the murdering of women. And never women again will be responsible for these crimes against women. Mandatory prosecutor's office specialized in the murdering of women in all of the Republic, 52. We will strengthen the guarantee and access to health care of women in the whole life cycle, especially regarding uh, sexual and reproductive health, 53. More than 150,000 women will be recognized with their agricultural rights. 54, each woman of the country, well, all of the citizens will be given uh, primary rights 
and we will develop next uh, nets to take care of avoid that women who face violence feel alone and they will be protected by the states 55 with the Mexican Institute of Social Security we will start with the national system of care in a progressive manner We will start with uh, centers for child well-being, for the poorer, the agricultural, and for the women, especially in city of Waters. We will provide justice to the women of the of Waters, historical justice, republic with job and fair wage. Fifty-six. We will continue to provide a rise in minimum wage for everybody to achieve 2.5 basic supplies. Currently, it's 1.6. We need to augment this figure this year, each year. 57 reform to the Constitution will be approved to strengthen pensions, which is a reality with the pensions fund that gave us our president, Andres Manuel López Obrador. 58, we will increase progressively the minimum wage of professors of basic education, doctors, nurses, soldiers, members of the National Guard, and also maritime personnel so that they uh, don't earn more uh, low wages. 59, we will send this month a law to guarantee the social security to be mandatory for workers in um, telecommunications. 60, I'm sure we will achieve this in agreement with employers, we will achieve the week of 40 hours. 61. We have the commitment to the workers of Alto Sornos in Mexico to recover their jobs and we will continue with the planning of rescue and justice for the families of Fasta de Concha and Elpina Vete rule a republic fair and sovereign 62 food sovereignty will continue to be the acts of our policies for farms we will grant the self-sufficiency of corn free of transgenics from production to consumption we will ensure the supply of corn for human consumption. The objective also is to achieve a true agreement between producers of corn and of tortillas. We want to achieve a fair price of tortilla in our country and without corn it will be possible. 63. We will grant a social security for Farmers, 64. We will recover self-sufficiency for the being supply supporting medium and large producers in Zacatecas and other states. We will create a national company of seeds to support this objective and produce seeds of high quality. 65. We will accompany the current supports with a new program called Harvest 
harvesting sovereignty that addresses uh, vital security and will increase food production. 66. Segalmex will fusion with the cancer and will become food supply for well-being and will be in charge of achieving the bar producer with granted prices and provide free trade for sale of coffee and other products that will be sell in the stores of well-being. This is a new name, which is the new name of the conscious stores in the whole country. Likewise, asset food sovereignty to support ICANSA that promotes and provide milk for millions of children in the whole country. We will open uh, a center of posterization of milk in the Republic 67. We will implement a special plan for Campeche and Tabasco to increase rice, milk, and meat production, granting the protection of the jungle. Sovereign Republic with sustainable energy. 68. The objective is to strengthen Pemis and Federal Commission of Electricity as public enterprises of the state. The times of privatizations are over. 69. The fundamental objective of the oil production will continue to be national consumption and not export. And we will strengthen our um, oil processing plants with the increase with the production of 1.8 barrels per day for reasons of environment and we will provide norms to ensure efficiency of the vehicles selling Mexico and have less consumption of oil and promote mobility. 70. The Federal Commission of Electricity will grant and strengthen the capacity of transmission, distribution of energy and generation of energy as well. As we said, the state will, CEFE will produce at least 64% of the power supply and 46% with private generation. Generation as exists right now and President Andres Manuel Pesado left it and will continue to be like this because it's essential energetic sovereignty. 71, we will boost uh, renewable energies. The objective is that in 2030, they have a participation of 45%, 72. In some cities of the north of our country, where the summer rate is too high, they pay, the citizens pay too much, we will boost uh, program of solar panels so that they have in their homes solar panels and this will also help the environment and reduce the the cost of electricity 73 we will increase national production of petrochemicals and fertilizers a prosperous and connected republic. 74. We will continue to apply economic incentive in the borders. It won't, they won't change. 75. 
we will look for coordination with the United States to extend the trans border bridges which are essential 76 after privatization of um, trains that happened in the past we recovered trains Maya and the interoceanic train for Maya is already working now we will take Maya train to the port of Progreso in Yucatan and we will do this we will we'll turn it into a cargo train also regarding the interoceanic train we will finish the rails here here we have the president of Guatemala President Revelo. The interoceanic train will get to the border and we will help Guatemala. So, and also, I already said it, you know it. We will continue to enlarge trains. This weekend on Sunday, we will be in Pachuca, well, in Hidalgo. We will start there the functioning of Pachuca train. We will build new train lines to north, 3,000 kilometers. We will finish Buena Vista and Pachuca and Sayuca itineraries. We will also build Ciudad, City of Mexico, Carrera line. And Saltillo, Monterrey, Nuevo Laredo. And on the other side, through the Pacific, Querétaro, Guadalajara, San Nogales, recovering Tepic, Mazaclan, Hermosillo, and other states. We will also recover the historic route Mexico, Puebla, Veracruz of the passenger train. We are at the 80. Since I was explaining, I w I'm going to explain it like this. We will strengthen also cargo and train lines. 81, as one of the main act first actions of our government, you will like this one. Here, the governors. We will fix bumps and roads of the states, and we'll continue with this program throughout the whole period of government. Gover 82, we will continue with the program of ways, and we will continue in Oaxaca, connecting the most further localities with uh, another states of the Republic using the work of communities. When I was reading about the trains, I got excited, but I want to congratulate uh, military and maritime officials who helped us so much to build trains, roads, hospitals, and will continue to help. 
I was saying that we will enlarge roads in the whole country. Here I'm, I will mention some. We will continue to improve them. In Baja California Sur, in Guahuila, modernization of 57 Road, in Michoacán, Urban Zamora, and Lázaro Cárdenas Urban, in Morelos, Circuit, Tierra Libertad, and distributed uh, to the university. We will build the road to Lucas and Guadalajara in the state of Mexico to a city of Altamirano. The routes of Lambara, San Blas, and Federation, Federation Bridge, and enlarge also the route Colima, Barzanillo, Guajapa, Tustepec. And in the Pacific Coast, we will continue to improve the road of Salina Cruz as it was in And we will extend it to Mosa Pueblo and in Quintana Roo, touristic corridor Benito Juarez, Isla Blanca. From Tamás Sunchales, San Luis Potosí to Huejuta Fachuca. From Valle City to Tamaulipas, from Tabasco, Macuspanes, Carcena, and Sonora. We have to fix that no matter what. Bavispe Nuevo, Casas Grandes, Iguayma, Chihuahua. From Veracruz, Paso del Toro, Tuzla, and Yacayuca. The elected governor of Chiapas is watching me here, but we will we need to reach an agreement yet to see the roads of this marvelous state of Mexico. We will support also the state of Colima, Guerrero, Veracruz, Irano, Sinaloa. 55. Mexico has everything to consolidate itself as a port power with public investments and also private investment. Also, we will consolidate Salina Cruz and the ports of Punta Colone, Libertad Port, and Guayma Sonora, and Laguna de Cuitran and Manzanillo. La Santa Cardenas, Michoacán, Chiapas Port, Progreso, Yucatán, Ceiba Playa, Campeche, Tuspan, Veracruz, Altamira, and North Port, Matamoros, Tamaulipas. 86. We will strengthen Mexicana de Aviación, the airline of the peoples of Mexico. Between 2025 2027, several aircrafts will arrive to strengthen the airline of the people. 87, we will enlarge airports of Tamuin and San Luis Potosí, Tepic Lázaro Cárdenas, Puerto Escondido, and remodeling the International Airport Benito Juarez in the city of Mexico. Are you tired? 88. In Mexico, internet is so right. We advanced a lot with President Manuel Lopez Obrador. The constitutional reform is on its way in this matter, and we will extend access to internet for everybody. 89. Welcome to private investment and relocation of companies with innovation, good wages, protection to the environment, and national content. This month, we 
will fund with several chambers and visit men and women the National Council for Development and Relocation. The objective is to create new well-being sites and a hundred industrial parks in the whole country. Ninety. We will consolidate the Sonora plan, increasing solar generation, production of lithium, semiconductors, and electromobility in 91. We will boost a program recalling General Lázaro Cárdenas, who was responsible for the Balsas River Plan, we will boost a program, Balsas Pacifico Sur, for the states of Michoacán, Guerrero, Oaxaca, and the state of Mexico, so that the poorest communities have development and well-being. We're going to fix lines of the buses for the city. I haven't forgotten. A republic that protects the environment and its natural resources, 92. We will clean the most contaminated rivers of the country, Lerma Santiago, Tula, and Atoyac River. 93. We will take care with the state's atmospheric pollution of Monterrey, Guadalajara, and the city of Mexico, 94. We will build in Tula, Hidalgo, there where we're going, where we're going to build the oil processing plant there. We're going to carry out a project that we call circular economy. I mean, we will have there water treatment plants, plants for recycling that will allow us to clean this municipality. One of the most polluted of the country will be the first one because the objective is to continue in other places of Mexico. 95, we're about to finish. We will build at least uh, ha 10 recycling plants. Uh, we will start in Oaxaca, 96. We will continue to reforestate and rescue uh, forests and granting the preservation of the environment and diversity and natural resources. A republic with a right to water, 97. Access to water would be a priority of our government. Therefore, we will start this month with a program to order concession and transmission of right of water. The water is for the nation, 98. We will provide technology for more than 200 hectares of irrigation in several states, as Hidalgo, Morelos, Tamaulipas, and other states. 99. The main strategic projects to grant recycling and human access to water. We're going to the states, uh, Baja California, South Baja California, Sonora, Colima, Guerrero, Durango, Coahuila, Guanajuato, Zacatecas, Oaxaca, Tamaulipas, Veracruz, Campeche, and a special program that is already being developed several months ago for the metropolitan area of 
El Valle of Mexico. We will grant the access to water in El Valle of Mexico and Hidalgo. I will finish with this. A secure and ju republic with justice. We will grant the, the decrease of high impact crimes, the irresponsible war against drug trafficking of Calderon won't come back. That hurts so much of a country. Our conviction is still that security and peace are a product of justice. We are consolidating the strategy that consists of four axes. Pay attention to the causes, strengthening National Guard, intelligence and investigation, and coordination. Attention to causes means granting the right to education, housing, and job of the young people of our country. And we will develop the program Young, young People Uniting the Nation to um, get the youngsters out of cr uh, criminality. National Guard, we will consolidate. It was already approved in the Constitution as part of the Defense Secretariat of the nation. For those who judge and say that this is militarization, it's fake. In our country, we have no exception state or violation to human rights. What we have right now with a fourth transformation is more democracy, more freedom, and a true uh, rights, straight of right that we're going to build with a chain of the Supreme Court of Justice of the nation and the judicial power. Also, Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces is a civilian and is a woman. And we will never order um, repression against the people of Mexico. We will create a national system of intelligence and investigation for public security. And we will increase coordination with the states and municipalities and also with the public ministry. Next week, we will announce the national strategy of security. Friends, tomorrow we will be in Acapulco to support our brothers and sisters of Guerrero and Michoacán. We will meet again, if I'm allowed to, in public squares. We have a good teacher. I will continue to visit the travel the country. I'm clear that power is honesty and humbleness, and our thinking is Mexican humanism. And our nation and our people are great. And I know that we are the only option that represents the well-being and the progress with justice. I know that my responsibility is to bring peace, security, democracy, preservation of the environment, freedom and justice to Mexico. I know that our guidance will be well-being well and happiness of our people. And I'm clear about the, the fact that the second stage of the fourth transformation will be developed by all of us. Therefore, I commit to you 
that I will give my knowledge to my soul and my life and the best of myself for the well-being of the Mexican people. I commit to you to defend always Mexico. I commit to exalt love, honesty, and brotherhood and condemn any kind of discrimination. I am here to commit to you to say to the Mexican people in this square, this marvelous square, the heart of the homeland, where we gathered so many times with Andres Manuel López Obrador, and we will continue to gather. I won't fail you. I commit to you to not lie, not see, and never betray the people of Mexico. I commit to keep making history. Long live for the fourth transformation. Long live for Mexico. Long live for Mexico.